Hello, this is Patriot of the Republic 1, Mike Fulmer. And today's to to I will read today's topic, and that topic will be about Obama signs the trespass bill, H.R. 347, the First Amendment, rest in peace, 1791 to 20. 12. President Obama, just at the end of last week, signed the Trespass Bill H.R. 347. This bill that was just put into law makes it a federal offense to protest against any government business or functions or against people or places under secret service protection anyone that will do any anti-government protests can be punishable up to 10 years in jail or prison okay here's my opinion my opinion I feel that President Obama wants to kill the Bill of Rights and the US Constitution and our way of life by signing the NDAA and Bill HR 347. I hope this will wake up the people in the US so we the people can say or write something to our state and US representatives to repeal or revoke things like the US Patriot Act the NDAA and Bill HR 347 I will have some links down below this video in the definition box about the news lines about President Obama signing this new bill into law. You can also do a Google search about this topic. Thank you. Well, well you could also do a Google search on this topic, which is about HR, the bill HR 347. Well, I'm really sickened by this. It makes me sick that Barack Obama would even uh, not to consider to veto this bill. Instead, he signed this act or this bill into being, which will kill the First Amendment. Your, your First Amendment right that where you could you could gather with other people in a group to peacefully protest in front of your town hall or any government facilities or whenever there's a presidential debate in your city or your in your town or state that makes it a federal offense everybody so you can so you can be arrested and jailed or be imprisoned just by uh, protesting anywhere around ta your town square or in front of your local uh, local place of government in your local town or your city or state and, um, well, Barack Obama signed the NDAA in secret on, on December 31st of 2011. That was on New Year's Eve of last year, going into the new year of, tw of 2012, which is this year. Oh, Barack Obama, I asked you to consider not to sign this bill. Well, you did, and I hope this wakes up a good amount of the masses or the people in this country. 
of ours so they could say out you go and that looks like that's not going to happen people are still going to be there there are a percentage that are still asleep they're not awake they're not aware of things like the NDAA and HR 347 being signed gets very little news attention or no news attention at all at all people and uh the people in this country should also say something to the old corporate dinosaur horror media they're also responsible to report the news to report the news as they see it and they have to be they 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 got to be impartial they can't be partial to the president signing this stuff the the news media in this country they haven't done their job for quite some time and there's no more freedom of press that's why people are tuning into uh, infowars.com which is uh, an Alex Jones opera operation. He's alternative news. More people are realizing in this country how the news isn't really being partial or impartial and they're not really doing their job and they realize there's other alternative news outlets like Infowars, Alex Jones, The Corbett Report, MediaMonarchy.com with James Evan Pilato and RT America. Uh, that's all the uh, alternative news sites that I just mentioned. They give you better legitimate and impartial or partial news. Uh, it, 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 uh, this makes me sick. It's the end of the uh, First Amendment. Like I said, the First Amendment, rest in peace, 1791 to 2012. And you know, it's the end of the uh, First Amendment, folks. And there's other rights that are being uh, violated as well. And people just don't want to wake up. People would rather say, oh, President Barack Obama is doing a better job than George W. Bush. And and he hasn't he ha he's not doing a better job he's gone back on all of his promises he promised all the automotive workers that he would get us out of nafta and gat which he didn't and and let me tell you something about nafta and gat those bills or those acts or agreements were to uh were per not to permit the United States of America not to produce anything or what's left of, or to eliminate what's left of our production and to pr not permit us to produce anymore and that would help uh, plummet the, uh, the US dollar if we can't produce things for ourselves in this country of the United States of America uh, you know People have to wake up. People have to literally wake up. Barack Obama signs. Uh, he appeals. Well, he resigned the uh, the U.S. Patriot Act right after he right after he got his assigned post in 2009. He resigned and put more additions to the U.S. Patriot Act which he said he would stop he would not let the US government or military to secretly tap our emails or our or telephones or cell phones or or voicemail and he wouldn't permit the uh the secret torture of US citizens and and even uh well to assassinate U.S. citizens on U.S. soil. Uh, boy, this... And he said he was also going to close uh, Guantanamo Bay, which he never did. 
Well, Barack Obama, uh, you're doing things that are very un-American, that are against this con U.S. Constitution and our Constitution Republic. And, well, and also I would like to add that uh, Barack Obama says he doesn't take orders from, he won't take any more orders from the U.S. Congress. He would take orders from the United Nations to declare war against another state or country. And I'm referring to Iran and Syria. That's a tr that's an offense to the Constitution. Uh, that's treason. And what other people don't know, know, and which it's not reported in our old dinosaur corporate whore media, they're not reporting this, that he's going to, that Congress just started uh, impeachment proceedings to impeach President Barack Obama. That's Democrats and Republicans, along with the U.S. Senate and Congress, to impeach Barack Obama for doing treasonous things like saying, I'm not going to listen to Congress. You're not, you're not the, you're not my boss anymore. I'm not going to listen to you. You do not tell me if I cannot or go that I cannot go into war, or you could file a declaration of war. You're not telling me that anymore. My boss is the United Nations. That's a foreign entity. That is not part of the United States government. That's completely very treasonous. Well, you know, I know people are going to disagree with this and they're not even going to be aware that Congress just opened up proceedings to uh, impeach President Barack Obama for taking orders to declare war against Syria and Iran. That's a serious offense. That's against our Constitution. That's considered treason in certain uh, parts of our Constitution, Bill of Rights, and the U.S. Constitution and Declaration of Independence. And people are going to say, well, you know, I disagree with that and I don't like what you're saying. But this is fact and this is the truth. And I'm letting people know in these little video clips to inform people um, to inform people to encourage people to look up the NDAA Act the HR 347 bill and also to look up what's the, the impeachment procedures at Congress and the Senate that they just the proceedings are just opened up to impeach President Barack Obama and I would say go for it. I'm in that boat. I would like to see him be impeached. He's done a lot of treasonous things. Back in the later part of 2009, before or after the G20 conferences here in Pittsburgh, PA, he sat on, well, he was appointed a uh, board of secure, the, the the secure well a chair he was appointed an opening on the UN for s the security advisor and that's also treason that's also treason in certain sections and articles of the US Constitution and our Declaration of Independence he's not allowed to sit as president and have another seat with another foreign power that is against certain sections of our Constitution and Declaration of Independence. And people are going to ridicule me and they're going to say, you're racist, you're nothing but a white racist cracker, and you don't like Barack Obama because he's a black African American. Uh, that's not true. I'm not, a, I'm not a racist person. I'm not racist at all. That's not the way I was brought up. 
I get along with a lot of black African American folks as long as they treat me with respect and decency in the way that I want to be treated and that I would treat them the way I would treat them the way I want to be treated I would treat them back <laughs> they're pe pe African Americans Latinos Japanese Chinese Native American Indians they're human beings if they would respect me and and treat me right I would do the same for them for any of those classes that I mentioned that live within our country uh, well once again please google this topic about the H the signing the presidential signing of the bill the HR 347 bill that the trespass act um, it's very important people have to look this up I encourage it I truly encourage it and and people are gonna have to act we the people have to act say say or write something to our state and US representatives to rev to revoke or to repeal the NDAA or this bill 347 we, this is killing our way of life this is attacking our republic it's assassinating our republic actually uh, well this is all I have to say about today's topic this is Patriot of the Republic saying thank you and goodbye and hasta la vista everybody goodbye for now have a nice day bye